Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. If you saw my last video, I made chicken shawarma wraps. However, I did not show you the actual marinade for the chicken. Today I want to bring you back in and do a real quick video on that and show you how I do my marinade for chicken shawarma. Also, I will link right up here at the end of this video, the prior video that shows you how I actually put my wraps together and what I put inside them. So let's go. Okay, so first I am starting out with a pound and a quarter, I had to think about that, of boneless skinless chicken thighs. I washed them and then I poked them with a fork, just took a fork and all over in the bowl. Probably not necessary, but it's just one of those things that I always do. Let me bring you in a little closer now and show you how to make your chicken shawarma marinade. As usual, I will link any unique products down below in the description box so that you can easily get any of these ingredients. First, I start with olive oil, probably a couple tablespoons. You know me, <laughs> I don't measure anything usually. Salt. cumin, onion powder, oregano, black pepper. I feel like I really can't comment on the quantities. Just eyeball it, you'll be fine. It's not rocket science, as I always say. White pepper, turmeric, be a teaspoon, coriander, Another one that I would say is a teaspoon. This is um, lemon peel. I talked about this in the video that I will be linking where I actually assemble the shawarma. I put this in the garlic sauce that I made, but I do love this. Maybe a half teaspoon, I would say. Paprika. I don't know, maybe a half teaspoon. It's so hard to say. This is one of my favorite ingredients. This is a, a hot chili powder, but it's not super spicy and it has a nice sweetness to it. It's a really great product. I use it in a lot of my Asian cooking and marinades. I am going to add probably a tablespoon. I'm going to add that much. Maybe a tad more. You can add whatever you, obviously, how much you want of that, depending on if you like a little kick or not. Again, it's not, I love it because it's not super spicy. It's a really, really nice heat. Sweet mesquite chicken rub. Love, love, love this stuff, which is why I keep it in a jar because I go through a lot of it. So... I will try to link it down below, like I said, because I can't say enough. I use this in a lot of different things as well. Last but not least, I go in with a little hit of Maggie. I, once again, I am just going to sprinkle in a little bit, not too much. I will link it down below. I'll see if I can find it in the bigger bottle and the smaller one so you can see both of them. I am going to get this now mixed up and then I will put it in one of my silicone ever loving latest obsession bags and get this in the freezer for future use. And that's it. I am going to throw this in a bag and get it in the freezer. And just like that, we have a nice marinated chicken ready to go into the freezer for a future meal that we can just thaw out and throw on the grill. 
Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. I upload a video every other day. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye friend.